Hey Virgos and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a weekend bonus and I'm going to, uh, this is a new series I'm starting called the Sassoon Bonus. That means Saturday and Sunday and I just threw it together in a word. But this is something I'm starting for April and I'm trying to keep, okay? So here we go. God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Please give us some clear and concise messages for the sign of Virgo. What messages do they have? What is most valuable for them to know about this weekend? What is most important for them to know for the weekend in order for them to be prepared for it? Thank you. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. Messages for Virgo. The yin. So there could be some type of feminine energy that you want to have peace with here. Because you are, yeah, you've been woken up to a deep knowing. Higher power, deep knowing. Somebody, God is put, not somebody. Sorry, God. I'm so sorry. God is woken you up here, basically, to a deep knowing about a feminine. I'm hearing she's not there. Okay, but, and then, I mean, no fem, the masculine is not in his either, but in the masculine, it's a lit up fire. And the feminine, hers is gone. It's missing. She's not there is what I heard. So somebody wants to bring peace to a, 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 a situation here with a feminine. They want to go in and let her know she, they support her and that she can just take a break, okay? I feel like this person would, it was, was in between worlds. But I feel like God came in here and poised the situation. Um, you know, put people in time out. And now somebody sees how this is a loyal heart. And they're ready to go to distance because they realize that it is a good luck charm that they have. And they need to clean it up. Okay? Plus, they might be going round and round in their head. But they thought this was not real. But they realize it is. And now they're on the time. And they need to get going. Is what's, what's going on here, Virgo. So let's see what's actually coming out for you here. New life, yeah. Same thing, Leo got sick. A lot of my Virgos be having Leo in their chart, I think. Virgo, new life. All that glitters. So, Virgo, I feel like you're going in a period of new life after realizing all the glitters isn't gold. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Soulmate. Somebody, yeah, let's get deep into this. Thinker. Somebody's thinking a lot about this new life. Milk and honey. I heard that all the glitters isn't gold. You had to figure this. I feel like this right here is definitely glittering, but I feel like you had to figure out all the glitters wasn't gold before you got here. Okay? By the book. Ooh, that's an 11 card. A uh, change in the wind. Oh, somebody got to change your heart because they realize that all the glitters isn't gold. And that this, it, the, the new life, you're going towards your blessing. And you want to be fair to somebody. Ground the situation that you left out in the cold. Because you was at a fork in the road. Yang energy. There he is showing up. Yin is on the bottom, ain't she? I thought she was. Here we go far enough. No, that was Leo I was talking to. Yin came out for them. Okay, so this is the yang, the masculine energy here. Yeah, the fates. Time to go. Unfinished symphony. Uh-oh, Virgo. It's time to go here to get your milk and honey. You got an unfinished song that you've been singing with somebody, and it is time to go. Why? Because fate and destiny is calling you. Is what I feel here. It's calling you into a new life here. It's calling you to a new life, and yes, it is very glittery. It is very light. It is very bright, and but I do feel like that some of you had to learn something about something to do with all the glitters that ain't gold, and somebody wearing one of these masks up here, or maybe you wore a mask, but somebody's realized that all the glitter is not gold. That is important. That's what they said. Now they're moving on to have a new life that actually has some glitter to it. Okay, with the soulmate here, somebody's woke up to a deep knowing about a soulmate. The yin. I mean the yang. That's the masculine thinker. All he thinking about it, all this, all you've been able to think about, Virgo, is this new life that you want to have with something that you consider to be your milk and honey. Something that glitters to you, something that's bright to you, something that shines and that lights show lights show world up here. Somebody that you see as a, as a soulmate, but there's some type of by the book that you're trying to do here. And I'm not clarifying, so uh whatever by the book. That you're trying to do. I don't know if that's good or bad. Please give us a card on by the book. After I say I ain't clarifying. Peace. Between worlds. And truth be told. Yeah, so this this masculine. Yang, this Virgo, whoever this is I'm connected with here. Thinking about this new life. That's why I said stanker. Stanker under new life. And clarifying this uh, by the book. 
Somebody's moving accordingly here. Somebody's trying to close out some type of cycle that they learned in which glitter was not gold. That's why they're in between this dark and this lightness because they're headed this place to this new life where the light is, where it's peace, where the truth is being told. And I feel like there's some truth that you might even need to tell as well. Um, but you're trying to go by the book here. So it might be taking you a little time, but I don't feel like you got much time, Virgo. Because um, it did tell you it's time to go because it's an unfinished symphony. It's faded. And right here it says time to go. So be careful trying to go by the book, Virgo. Sometimes you need to get out there and leap. Okay? Get out there and do what you got to do. Ain't no time. Don't worry about no time. Okay? This is your milk and honey. This is the glitters. You got to get your light while you can. Okay? So, but I feel like you're only thinking about this weekend. You're going to be doing a lot of thinking about. Um, You might even take action towards. But you're doing a lot of thinking about this new life um, that you feel very happy about. You feel like it's your milk and honey. <laughs> You feel like it's your soulmate, it's your one, the person you're supposed to be with, but you're going by the book, you're planning because you want to have peace and you want to have some truth that you want to, you might even, because you're between both worlds here, you're trying to close out a world, a cycle, go by the book, but you do want to speak some truth here in order to bring peace into a situation, to bring happiness into a situation because you feel like somebody is your milk and honey, but I, if you, this would be somebody else that you knew already. Somebody that you knew already, and maybe you made a everything glitters is gold decision, and now you're realizing, so you're doubling back around. That's what I feel like. So even though you, you made a choice that got you in between both worlds, so now you have to re, you have to disconnect yourself from this dark energy in order to get to this light one. So now you got some truth you want to speak in order to bring at least try to, to at least try to put peace over the situation. Maybe you telling this person, look, I'm I'm exiting that world in order to start a new life with you. Um, and that's the truth you're going to be telling this weekend. You're just going to be telling this person, look, I got, it's a certain way I got to do this. I know you're my soulmate. I know you're my milk and honey. I know I want to be with you. I've been thinking about, all I could been thinking about is this new life with you, but I have to get out of this by the book, but I have to go do something has to be by the book. Okay. And that I feel like has been your fork in the road. Why the situation I don't need I don't want to say that's why you left it out in the cold, but I, don't, I I feel like that is because you was confused, you was lost, you didn't know which way to go. But now you're coming in to ground the situation because you want to be fair and you feel blessed to have this. And the change in the wind, yep, you chose the wrong direction at first, and now you're turning back around because God is showing you with a very deep knowing. And I do feel like time is ticking though, Virgo. So you really don't got time to be by the book. You just got to use your imagination and your intuition and jump in there. Okay, so be prepared for that this weekend. So that's what I got for you, Virgo, and I do hope it helped. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in your next video. Namaste. Peace.